हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू माय चैनल प्लान पैथोलॉजी पाठशाला आई एम जुमेश मेहर पीएचडी स्कॉलर फ्रॉम बनारस हिंदू यूनिवर्सिटी सो दिस इज द ट्वेल्थ पार्ट एंड वी आर डिस्कसिंग द मोस्ट फ्रीक्वेंटली आस्क्ड प्लान पैथोलॉजी क्वेश्चन इन आईसीएआरजेआरएफ और एएसआरएफ और एएसआरबी नेट बीएचयूपी टीएन आरईडी एंड अदर प्री पीजी एग्जाम सो प्लीज सी द वीडियो टू लर्न एंड डोंट फॉरगेट सब्सक्राइब माय चैनल If you want the previous eleven parts, please go to the description section. Link is given there, or you may click on the I button. So let's start the video. First question is: Causal organism of bee anthracnose is. So the answer is A. Colletto trichum lindemuthiana. This is a very important disease of bee. The main characteristic symptom of anthracnose disease is it develop black sunken lesion. If you see sunken lesion in the fruit, that is the anthracnose. That is the characteristic symptom of anthracnose disease. Here also in bean, black sunken lesions are formed, and this is the causal organism. Call it or try come linde muthiyanam. Next question is, which is a sea transmitted disease? So the answer is all of this. So these are this bean common mosaic, then barley strip mosaic disease, then prunus necrotic ring spot. These are the viral disease, and these are the sea transmitted viral diseases. Okay. Next question is. Pathogen free seeds could be obtained by growing the crop and producing seeds in So the answer is all of this So these are the condition for growing pathogen free seeds that is the area must be free or isolated from the pathogen that may be airborne or the soil borne pathogen then the area must not be suitable for pathogen growth okay means the environmental condition must not be suitable for the growth of the pathogen next is an area not suitable for the vector generally for the vector transmitted diseases like the viruses also the fungi and bacteria also so the virus multiplication must not be suitable in that area okay so these are the condition for growing pathogen free seeds next question is indicator plant used for detecting lettuce mosaic virus is so the answer is chenopodium quinoa so this is the indicator plant to detect the presence of lettuce mosaic virus in a seed lot or seed sample so this are generally local lesion assay is performed for detecting the virus on this indicator plants okay this is also known as virus indexing to detect the virus presence in a seed lot or seed sample next question is maximum tolerance limit for late blight disease in certified potato seed is so the answer is 0% seed certification is done to provide the farmers with disease free seeds and with high germination quality okay that's why seed certification is done and for the late blight pathogen the maximum limit of tolerance is 0% because this is a very destructive disease if it is present in the seed then it will systemically develop in the growing seedling and it also spread to the other plants of the field okay that's why the tolerance limit is 0% next question is for hot air treatment on infected plant the temperature used is so 
so the answer is 35 to 40 degrees celsius this is a physical method to manage the crop infection or the pathogen hot air hot water can be used for hot air the air must be between 35 to 40 degrees celsius hot air treatment generally given inside an incubator for two to four weeks so the time interval is two to four weeks and temperature is 35 to 40 degrees celsius next question is how dedocyl alcohol emulsion sprayed on plant check the disease development So the answer is B. It only permits diffusion of carbon dioxide and oxygen but not water. So this dedocyl alcohol is also used as antitranspirant because it is not permitting the diffusion of water. And as it is not permitting the water diffusion, so in turn, it also inhibit the spore germination because water is must for the spore germination. So, main mechanism behind the application of dedocyl alcohol to check disease development is it inhibit the spore germination by not permitting the diffusion of water molecules. Okay. Next question is. Flooding limits the pathogen growth and development by So the answer is all of this due to flooding It will also induce the starvation in pathogen then it lacks the oxygen then due to suffocation finally the pathogen dies Okay, next question is HM1 gene present in resistant corn varieties codes for so the answer is HC toxin reductase HM1 this is a resistant gene and this is the first resistant gene which is first cloned okay so first cloned resistant gene is HM1 gene that is in the corn or maize okay and it in part resistance against the helminthosporium cochineobolus okay which produce the acetoxin and this resistance variety or resistant gene produce enzyme to detoxify the acetoxin and that enzyme is acetoxin reductase okay so hm1 gene produce acetoxin reductase to detoxify the HC toxin. Next question is how sarcosporin toxin is activated? So the answer is by light. Sarcosporin is a toxin produced by the fungus Sarcospora species. This is a photosensitizing agent that is activated due to presence of light and it produces the ROS species that is the reactive oxygen species which leads to the peroxidation of membrane lipids. So finally it affects the membrane lipids. Next question is non-host toxin Produced by the fungus alternarius species is or are. So the answer is D all of this. So the non-host toxin produced by alternarius species are alternaric acid, alternariol and geniol. These are the toxin or non-host toxin produced by alternarius species. Next question is, Thansmotoxin is an important toxin produced by So the answer is Streptomyces species. Thanstomin is a very important toxin because 
It is responsible for the pathogenicity of the fungus Streptomyces species. That's why it is very important and it induces the hypertrophy and hyperplasia in the infected cell. Okay. By the pathogen Streptomyces species. Okay. Next question is various plant pathogen release a variety of non-specific elicitors in their immediate environment which includes so the answer is all of this so the non-specific elicitors produced by different pathogens are fatty acid then peptides and toxin these are the non-specific elicitors elicitors are the molecules released by the pathogen during the host plant and pathogen interaction okay these are maybe the part of pathogen or some molecules released by the pathogen to, to its immediate environment during the host plant in, host and uh, pathogen interaction next question is the resistance gene pto in tomato codes for so the answer is B. Detoxifying enzyme. PTO is a resistant gene which imparts resistance against bacterial speck disease of tomato that is caused by Pseudomonas serensi pathogen tomato. How this the R gene is uh, acting? The mode of action is it produces the detoxifying enzymes to inhibit or to detoxify the toxin produced by the pathogen okay so this pto resistant gene produce the detoxifying enzymes next question is the resistance gene pita pita imparts resistance against which disease so the answer is d magna porthe orizi pita pita this is a very important resistance gene for rice blast disease okay next question is calyx is the computerized forecasting system for disease of which crop so the answer is d peach so this is the computerized forecasting system for disease of peach crop okay next question is Aspire is the commercially used biocontrol product of So the answer is B Candida oilophila Biocontrol agents can be used or can be supplied in market with different formulation that formulation may includes is mycelial form or its spores okay so candida oilophila is marketed or commercially available with the trade name aspire next question is soil guard is the commercially used biocontrol product of so the answer is c trichoderma hazenum so biocontrol product available in market with uh, for trichoderma hargenum is the soil guard okay this is the trade name for the trichoderma hargenum product so this is the end of this video if you want more question like this stay tuned to my channel and don't forget to like this video and subscribe the plant pathology part sala if you want to connect me on facebook and telegram Link is given in the description section. Please go through that. And thank you for listening.